If I'm not mistaken, we've nothing more to do here. Shall we go, Holmes? There's just one more thing for me to see, Watson. What's that? Mr. Holmes, sorry to interrupt you, but Miss Jenny wishes to see you alone. She's waiting for you in her office. This, Watson. How did you know? Wait for me in the guards' room. I won't be long. What an extraordinary gentleman that Sherlock Holmes is. You must have had lots of adventures with him. Oh, yes, dozens. Thought he was infallible. But there wasn't anything out of the way in the Ratkiller's cell. Could he have been mistaken? I must admit... Warden Brighton! In my office immediately! That's an order! The director seems furious. Yes. It must be important for him to order Brighton to leave his post. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Ah! Help! Ah! Ha! Ah! You... Did you hear that? Yes, that's not normal. I've never heard Flinch shout like that. But... Why does no Sullivan sound the alarm? Follow me, Mackenzie. Let's go and have a look. I'll come with you. No, Dr. Watson, you're not allowed in. Wait for me here. Very well. Hey, but... Uh, the grill is blocked, Chief. We've been locked in. And that smoke, it's coming from below. Oh, Sullivan! Can you hear us? Sully! Are you alive? Answer us, Sully. What's going on? Can I help you? Sound the alarm in the guard's room. That should unblock the door. Be quick. O'Sullivan might be in danger. It doesn't work. Oh, uh, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play uh, Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, previously, we, we did the puzzle for uh, the woman, the secretary, Patterson, and... Oh, uh, sorry, because... The door is locked and I can hear shouting and crying. We're in the middle of some family drama, so there's no chance of them hearing me. Yes, uh, you find out that Pat uh, daughter Patterson is having the baby of the guard, and they're all upset. Oh, what am I doing? There is nothing. Do you have any tools? Oh, he has all of the tools now? Well, almost all the tools. Shoot, the alarm doesn't work. What do I do? Locked. Is this not timed? Did I panic for... Hey, what are you waiting for to sound the alarm, Doctor? It's impossible. It's been damaged. I'll run and warn the Director. No, Doctor. Our priority is to save O'Sullivan. Go ahead through the visitor's corridor and see if he answers your call. Very well. Take the keys. They're in our room. High security. Got it. Do I have the keys now? I don't see the keys. Where are the keys? In our room? Where's what? What? Is, is this not your room? Oh, this is this it? There it is. Let's go. High security area. Run, Watson. Watson. It doesn't what? work. Useless. This door is blocked by the timer, but not the one below. Give me the keys quickly. I don't buy it, but I'll do it. I've got the keys, Doctor. Thank you. Follow me, Watson. We must repair the alarm. And just leave him? Finally. There you are, Holmes. Okay. Repair. Follow me, Watson. We must repair. That's what you just said. I'm going to turn on the system. Watson, you make sure of the contact. I hope that this isn't dangerous. What? Oh, I played puzzles like this before. Wait, this is slightly different than what I expected. I need to somehow move it all the way through. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh! Okay, that wasn't so bad. It works. Perfect. It's open. Let's go down. Be careful. From what your colleague said, the flints are out. We are trained for this sort of situation. And we're You're armed. screwed. Come and help us, Watson. Kill them, Watson! 
Everything is back to normal. Thank you for your help, gentlemen. It was a pleasure. But where is O'Sullivan? He's no longer here. He must have gone out through the visitor's entrance. Yes, and he must be pleased to have gotten out of the basement. Good. We must now check all the cells. It's the procedure in case of an alarm. We'll come and help you. You are evidently fond of wasting time, my dear fellow. Rejoin me at the reception when you've finished. Except Hans is probably gone now. And O'Sullivan is in the cell. Yep. The, the grate is open. This is alarming. He's fine where he is, under the cover, still. No, he's not. How can he sleep with all this noise? I'll admit it's not normal. Perhaps the smoke has poisoned him. I had better take it, a look. Be careful, Doctor. He is dangerous. It's obviously the guard. Watson, you nincompoop. Are you sleeping? Oh, surprise. Oh, Sullivan. It's impossible. He was with us only a few moments ago. Or else... Or else it wasn't O'Sullivan. My God, he's escaped. The rat killer has escaped. Duh, Watson threw him the keys. Oh well, all's well that ends well. Oop, no. Beedy, 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 beep. Let's go back to Sherlock and tell him the great news. I'm curious what happened with uh, daughter Patterson. I can't remember her first name. Jenna? Jenna Patterson? Jenny? Ah, Holmes, there you are. Hans has escaped. I fear that this inquiry is a bitter defeat for us. Not at all, my dear fellow. Quite he the knew contrary. It. Follow me. Why the devil have you brought me behind the prison? We have an appointment, Watson. An appointment? With whom? Look who is waiting for us. Well, well. Shieldman! I'll go back and alert the guards. Calm down. Calm He's down. harmless. But, but what is he doing here? Why hasn't he run away? Because I asked him not to. Are you telling me that you helped him to escape? Quite so, as he wouldn't have been able to do so alone. But how? And why? He's a dangerous madman. Holmes, you've made me an accomplice in this escape. You owe me some explanation. And you will have them. But my priority for the moment is to remove our new friend to a safe place. I won't be long, but I must go alone. I'll rejoin you later. Just give me your next destination. Very well. I suppose you know what you're doing. How could you doubt it? Here, take the notes. They will help you when you write up the account of our visit to Westgate. So, where do I find you? Oh, I get to choose? I'll be at... What's Kensington? The grave? Whitechapel? Let's go. It's hospital. The next step of our investigation should take place in the Whitechapel area. Good. Go then, and I'll rejoin you there. Escape from Westgate Prison. Holmes notes regarding the way that he helped Hans Schielman to escape from prison are so extraordinary that I feel it would be better to transcribe, word for word, the conversation that we had afterwards regarding this matter. I felt the impatience of my friend's look. However, he delayed, relaying to me the details of his incredible achievement. He began by telling me about Hans Schielman's fountain pen. This is what he said. The key to- No. The key to the escape was actually Hans Schielman's fountain pen. I discovered a note inside Schielman's locker. I can quote it to you from memory. Whoever is smart enough to open this case should know that a couple of drops of my masterpiece are mixed together, with the ink inside and the pen's reservoir. If you are reading this note, it means that I am in a tight spot, so understand that my special ink will temporarily destroy the will of anyone it touches. Therefore, you have a few precious seconds during which you can shape the subject's will. I knew it! If you recognize my genius, use this knowledge to get me out of the embarrassing situation that I'm undoubtedly in. Shieldman had left this instrument for his future escape inside a case secured by devious combination. That way he could ensure that none of the prison, prison staff would find it, other than a well-informed friend. Understanding this, I decided to play along with him, but with a double game of my own. I would help him to escape, but I would also keep him under control by using his own creation on him. I allowed Shieldman to commence the game by giving him his pen, and then I started to advance my pawns. My first move was to persuade the director that it was necessary to search the cell. I therefore passed the ball into Shieldman's court by giving him the opportunity with Warden James. He did not waste it. He coated the bars of his cell with poisoned ink and Warden James, 
whose hands were contaminated, was under his control for a few seconds. He discreetly and quite simply ordered James to give him the keys. The ball was then back in my court. Now I had to find a way of neutralizing Warden O'Sullivan, who was to be the basement guard, as we discovered when we found Miss Patterson's duty sheet. I must admit that the young warden helped me enormously by asking me to sign the prison's visitor book. Absorbed in the tale, I went over the chronology of the events in my mind. I remarked that Holmes had already signed the visitor's book before giving Shieldman his pen. He replied in the most annoyed tone. Exactly! I anticipated it, and it was because of that I managed to get a step ahead in my game with Shieldman. I was leading the race, and all the while he believed it to be the other way around. Shulman did not suspect that I had already used his poison, and thought that O'Sullivan's being asleep was a godsend. He therefore was not suspicious about the letter of reference that he found inside the warden's pocket. Holmes then returned to the point at which he had broken from his tail, to the point out to me the lack of pertinence to my remark. Genius! Wait, what? But do not put the cart before the horse, Watson Sidden, do let me continue. So be, by merely touching the fresh ink upon the page um, in the visitor's book, O'Sullivan was under my control. I suggested a state of advanced drowsiness, but ordered him not to do anything immediately. Just sufficient for him to be unable to resist a siesta during his guard duty. Later, after the changing of the guard, Shulman used the key to let himself out of his cell. He hit the sleeping O'Sullivan over the head and exchanged his prison uniform for the warden's. Then he created a smoke screen by using the ingredients that I had given to him. Sugar from Miss Patterson's tea tray, brightens bicarbonate of soda, potassium nitrate from the guard's room, and sulfur from a few matches. He used the keys again to free the Flint brothers. The two ruffians leapt at each other's throats and made the very dickens of the noise. He had the diversion he needed to leave the high security area. And that is the moment where you entered the game, Watson. Thinking that you were helping O'Sullivan, you allowed Hans Shieldman to open the corridor's annexes bars by throwing him the keys. On my side, I opened the second lot by turning the alarm on again. In light of Holmes' explanation, I began to see my actions during this episode from quite another angle. I was troubled by the way that he had used me without my having any idea at the time of the duplicity of my actions. I interrupted his monologue to refer to the guards who had not realized what was happening, and who were occupied with restraining the Flint brothers. Holmes continued, exactly. So there was now only one obstacle in front of Shieldman, Warden Brighton, on the reception desk at the front of the building. I interrupted him again, but it was the director who summoned him so insistently, Holmes. You won't have me believe that he was an accomplice in this escape. Of course not, I provoked. The director's rage towards Brighton. Too impatient, I could not myself stop myself from asking how. I discovered that Jenny Patterson and Brighton were lovers. I also knew that the director did not have any idea about their affair, and that he would surely fall into a foul rage, we found out. I asked him if that was the reason why Miss Patterson had been summoned. Yes, she knew that I had opened her locket to find the guard duty list, and so she knew I was aware of her affair with Brighton. She wanted to make sure that I would not say anything. I pointed out that it had been rather unfeeling on his part to have told the director everything, reminding him of his promise to the young woman. He denied it in a somewhat hypocritical manner. I did not say anything. I simply left the lover's letters inside the urgent correspondence box in the secretary's office, knowing that they would be delivered to him in a few minutes later, thereby provoking his anger. The director shouted at Brighton, who rushed off to the secretary's office. Shieldman now had nothing to stand between him and the front door. Another question leapt into my mind, and not the least important one. Why did he not simply run away once he was outside? Why did he wait? I was not disappointed by my friend's answer. It is evident, my dear Watson. If he did not run away, then it was only thanks to that aforementioned step ahead of which I told you. It gave me enough time to write the letter of recommendation for O'Sullivan with the poison pen. It was in the pocket of the uniform, and Shieldman could not resist reading it when he found out. But what was written in that letter? Not very much, just congratulations on your escape. Wait for me here. I gaped at him. And that is how the first and only escape from the most enviable prison in the kingdom came to pass. A scenario which, without doubt, will prove to be the focus of police college studies for a long time to come as one of the most extraordinary escapes in the history of modern prison. That took like three minutes to read. I'm sorry if you didn't like that. But, I mean, I felt like it would be good to read. Here we are in the heart of Whitechapel. Keep an eye on your wallet, Holmes. This area is the highest for pickpockets in all of the kingdom. Don't worry about my wallet, Watson. It would be easier to move Big Ben than to steal from me. Or to borrow a shilling from you. Amusing, Watson. Really very amusing. Can we move on to more serious matters? I'm listening, Holmes. Well, guys, I'm out of time. Thanks for watching. Sorry if, you know, you didn't like the reading. You can comment saying stop reading so much and I'll, I'll, I'll take that into consideration for my next videos. Stay tuned tomorrow and we'll see what we're doing here in Whitechapel and what clues we'll find. Thanks for watching!